Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Hi, uh, my name is Daman. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Daniel. I'm from England. Daniel from England. Where are you from? Okay, uh, this is Daman from Canada, actually. Currently, I'm living in Canada, but originally I'm from India. Ah, okay. So now you you moved to Canada. When did you move to Canada? Uh, I just came to Canada in August 2019. It's been like six or maybe seven or eight months. Yeah. And why did you why did you move there? Uh, I'm here for my higher studies and I'm here pursuing my higher studies in business. <clears throat> and the, uh, which city do you live in Canada? I am living in British Columbia, BC. BC is the name of the state. And in BC, I am from Surrey. Surrey. Ah, okay. I also, I lived in uh, British Columbia for six months. When? Uh, in 2006. Okay. For what purpose? Uh, I was, I went to Canada to work and live in the ski resort called uh, Whistler. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful okay. place. I really like British Columbia. What do you like about BC? <laughs> what? Uh, everything is good. Yeah. Actually, there is nothing I can focus. Yeah, everything is perfect place. here. And why do you want to improve your English? Mm, for a better job or maybe like, you know, that English is an international language. So wherever you're going, so you need English. So that's why yeah it can be very important so um cambly is a good way to practice your conversation and uh improve your english your conversation and um become more confident yeah cambly is good but it is very expensive so not everyone can afford it it's very costly actually mm. Yeah, I hope it can. Uh, even even though it's uh, of, uh, because of the price, I hope it can still be uh, useful for you. Yeah, it's like uh, the starting price is maybe sixty dollars per month. So, I am living in Canada, so it is easy for me. But those people who are living in India or maybe from somewhere else, so they have to pay a huge sum actually. Mm, yeah, exactly. For it depends on. Yeah, which which country they are from and how much money they can earn. Yeah. Where are you from in India? Punjab. Punjab. And uh, what, do, what do you miss about Punjab and India? Sorry? What do you miss about your home? Punjab. What I miss? Oh, okay, okay. Mm, maybe my family or Indian food, actually. Yeah. Yeah, the food is good. Hmm. This is one of my favorite things about India. <laughs> okay. And uh, what are your what do you like to do in your free time? Free time, reading books and writing also. Yeah, uh, you can say I'm a little bit author also. So sometimes I like to write about stories or maybe the incidents which happen in my life or maybe learning French, improving English. Yeah, mm. and so on. Mm. Uh, so with my students on uh, Cambly, uh, there are different options that you can choose for improving your English. We can just have a conversation or we can also use different websites, uh, diff the materials on websites to help with your vocabulary and pronunciation and uh, conversation. So there's websites mm -hmm. like Engu, which I Send a link to you there. so okay. it depends on your your preference it depends how you like to use cambly hmm. uh, could you please tell me the ways to learn vocabulary because i'm not good in vocabulary and idioms especially uh yeah so for vocabulary um websites like engu are very good you, you mm -hmm. can read daily news articles and it will show there are different levels from intermediate up to advanced and proficient. So if you, you can choose a level and learn new vocabulary and then read the article and you will see this new vo vocabulary within the article. 
So this is a very good way to to learn uh, vocabulary and phrases. I would recommend this. Okay. Okay. I will try. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe today we can just have practice conversation, and in the future, mm -hmm. if you like, we can use Engu uh, and uh, the exercises on this website. Oh, really? Your accent is so good. You know, it's very easy to understand. Oh, really? That, that's a nice, good to hear. Um, yeah. I am from the northwest of England. Okay. So I live in Manchester, and I uh, I have been using Cambly for a few months, and I have travelled a lot in around the world. So I think my accent has become less, less strong. Okay. So uh, how is the situation there related to Corona? Uh, at the moment, it is quite bad. Um, we have a quarantine right now. We are in lockdown. And so okay. we, are, we are not able to leave the house for work. Um, so we, mm -hmm. I am working from home. And I'm allowed to go to the shop. And I'm allowed to go out for exercise once per day. How is the situation okay. in, in Canada? Yeah, Canada is doing very well, actually, if I compare with other countries. So I think total, maybe 11,000 cases got registered till now. And yeah. Yeah, it is uh, much lower than England. Yeah. Yeah, England. In England, we have now more than 10,000 people have died from coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And uh, it does okay. not seem to be improving. It is... Uh, staying at the same level and not not improving so okay, what do you think who is responsible for this virus like from where this virus came the origin i do not think anyone is responsible for the virus but we know that it came, it started in china but i do okay. not blame them entirely for the virus i think they could have handled it better they could have they could have managed it better and uh, alerted the world about this. Okay. You know? What do you think? Is it is it like human made or like it just became naturally? I believe it is natural. Um, there are always new viruses coming to the world. Every few years we have a new virus. So this is a natural process. So I do not believe it was man-made. How about you? Uh, I think so, like it is human-made. So mm. one more thing. Did you did you notice one thing like this virus like started in Wuhan, okay? Especially in China. And China these days is doing very well. You can see that the total cases every day in China are increasing by like maybe 200 or 300. That's it. Mm. Um, yeah, I believe this is because... Um they started much earlier they had the virus in december and it mm. and so they have had now four months so within this four okay. months it has gone up and then it has gone down in the in europe and in canada us we are much later in the process so we are in the peak now and later we'll go down okay so you know, I also think that China has got the solution for this virus, but they are not sharing. Mm. Like they had, they have got the vaccine. What do you think? Uh, why do you believe that? <laughs> because the number of people got recovered in China are like seventy-eight thousand, and total cases are like eighty-two thousand. So it's like something, you know. Mystery. I think uh, maybe the the numbers you see are not accurate. Of um yeah 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 sense. yeah mm, so mm. yeah i think i think china have not managed it well and they are not giving us the full story the full picture um but i do not think they created this okay so what do you think like which country will found which country will find the solution for this virus mm, which country i think canada are doing a lot um canada uh, canada 
Yeah, I hear the scientists in Canada are testing for a vaccine. They are quite advanced uh -huh. in, uh, in this process. So maybe Canada or a European country. European country. Maybe China. Okay. Maybe even China. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay. Um, so what do you think about uh, do Donald Trump, the Prime Minister of America? Oh, I'm uh, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump. Uh, I think he is quite dangerous. He, he is uh, he is the way he he manages the situation. The way he is a he talks to the media. It is not helpful for anyone. He is only he wants to look after America and does not want to help any other country in the world. Yeah, you know he's like very he always criticized china in one of the interview he said like this virus came from china so it is known as chinese virus <laughs> yeah like, he is um yeah. he says exactly what he thinks um maybe sometimes he needs to think more before he speaks uh, what do you mm. think of donald trump Sorry. What do you think about Donald Trump and what I think and the what? same, like whatever you, you know, the whatever you said, everything same. How about uh, for the Indian people generally? Uh, do they not like um, Donald Trump? Yeah, yeah, same. But you know, people uh, from all over the world are like big fan of Trudeau. Justin Trudeau is helping everyone. Mm. And, yeah. Do you think uh, he's doing a good job as the uh, prime minister? Yeah, as a prime minister, he's taking care of each and every citizen. And if whether they're student, he's providing free funds to every student. Yeah. And how is the situation in India uh, with the coronavirus? And how is it being managed by uh, the pr prime minister? Uh, like we all know, India is one of the highest populated country. Mm. So if we see, if we look at the population of India, India is doing very well. The cases are increasing like by, I think, so 700 or 800. That's it. India is doing a great job mm. and every country is appreciating the efforts of India. How have, um, how have they managed to do so well? Uh, the lockdown, actually, like, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi so he just applied lockdown on a proper timings so I think so that's why mm -hmm. and especially the most important role the police is playing an imperative role you know so if any if anyone like tries to come out of the home so they are like beating people with the sticks and so that's the mm -hmm. another reason I think so yeah they did a great job our our British Prime Minister did not do so well he, is, uh, <laughs> he had to go to hospital uh, because he caught the virus. Um, he was very late to, to do the lockdown. He was shaking hands with people in the hospitals when the virus was a problem. Mm. So he was quite stupid, really. Oh. And now he's out of hospital. He's better. But uh, he was very ill. Okay. So... Um, yeah, I think uh, every country has managed this differently. Some have done well, some not so good. But I hope um, in a few months, the situation will improve in all countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go outside at the moment. Yeah. I cannot tr go anywhere, really. Mm. It, is, um, it is a hard situation. We do not know uh how long the lockdown will last so far it has been three weeks i think it will be one more month and then hopefully we can go back to work <laughs> yeah yeah it's very hard to live yeah i want to go and do play some sport uh do some do some exercise and uh, just live my normal life mm -hmm, okay yeah it's good to speak to you today we only have uh, 20 seconds left on our call but it seems uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. your uh, English is really at a very high level. Yeah, you're very really good, actually. You know, I got each and every word, like which, whatever you spoke on. That's great. Oh, thank you. And, and you too, you're uh, very yeah. fluent. 
Yeah, thank okay, you. Have a good day. See you. Bye-bye.